Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use PHP to copy a file from one server to an entirely different server uh, at a different or the same file name. Now why I need it, uh, there are a lot of different uses for this, but here's why I need it. I have a uh, customer that has a shopping cart and I'm going to use a CSV file that's provided by the supplier in order to update the quantity of product available and any changes in price in the shopping cart. Now the problem that I have is that the server that my customer is on will allow fopen but it won't allow fopen on port 21. The customer's supplier, uh, the only way you can get this CSV file from the customer's supplier is by going into FTP and getting it which I have no problem going into FTP and getting it except that the server that the customer is sitting on won't allow you to use anything but port 80 and I think it's 455 or something like that uh, and most FTP is on port 21 I've tried it on their server and I cannot get it to work so what I need to do is I need to extract that file from the uh, FTP server and put it on a local server or a server that will allow that opening and then I can go from the customers website to that file that's now sitting on a port 80 and I can pull that file so I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm talking about here let me pull up my uh, browser and the first in the first window that I have open here is a CSV file with about 26 thousand lines of uh, information and one of these numbers here is a number that corresponds with a number that's in the cart one of these numbers out here is MSRP and another is quantity on hand and this file updates throughout the day so it has contains new information and I've written a script to extract this information and put it into arrays and then drop it into the shopping cart. But the problem that I have is I get an error every time I try and come off the customer's website to this file because this file is sitting behind FTP. Now obviously this one isn't because I'm not going to show you the FTP address of, of my customer's file. Uh, so this is just a temporary setup that I've made here and I've written the script and I think I had that in the opening, yeah, with the source and this is I'll explain the script in a second, but let me go back to the browser here for a minute. Now here's the page where the script is going to uh, write uh, the file to. As you can see, it's empty right now, and I'm getting an error 404 page not found. Now uh, let me go back over here to the data text. This, this is what it was. it's supposed to look like, and if I bring up my FTP, and I look in the file here where I've got my make CSV PHP which is what I've named the file that's going to do this and I hit my refresh button here you can see over on the right hand side there's nothing so let me go back to the browser and I'm gonna go to the script and I'm just gonna run the script now remember it's 28,000 lines so, or 26,000 lines so it's gonna take a, a, a minute but it's writing the page right now okay now the page is written now if I go back over here where the 404 page not found I'll show you the original page now you see the page not found that I had just opened I'm gonna hit it again and now here we have the file right there in the place that I've designated and then if we go back over to FTP and I refresh my FTP you'll see that file sitting over here on the right let me go ahead and refresh okay there's my new file text that was just now written and let me go back over the code and I'll show you in the code exactly how this works. All right, you have your source file which in my case is just uh, a text file and this can be HTTP, it can also be FT, uh, FTP and then you have the address and then in semicolons you're going to have your uh, uh, password stuff like that. Uh, you'll, you'll see the layout if you or use an FTP and that your variable for that is source and then that's used down here destination is your variable for your new file 
you can put paths in there if you want to. Anywhere you have the ability to write. And in fact, if you wanted to write it to FTP, I'm sure you could do that. I haven't tried it. And data is going to equal file get contents, which is a PHP command, on the source. Now you could skip source and just put this right in there instead. But uh, it's going to data is going to equal file get contents of this URL. And then the next thing you do is you uh, put into the variable handle. Handle equals f open, which is file open. And then your first argument is destination, which is where you want it to, uh, this is the file you want it to open, is your destination file. And if it doesn't exist, it'll create it. Then you have comma. And then here is w. Now there's three variables with f open. The first, well, I don't know the order, but you have w, which stands for write. You have R, which stands for read, and you have A, which stands for append. So you can append data onto a file. And then your next command is just fwrite on handle, which is the destination file. And then you're fwriting the data, which is the contents you got from the source file. And then you just close the handle. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I probably can't put the PHP tags in the comments. I'm not even sure if I can put all this in the comments, but if I can, I'll go ahead and put this in the comments for you. Uh, I'll just change this to say URL you want to get or something like that. But I think the video has gone long enough. I think you get the idea. There are a lot of different things you can use this on, a lot of ways you can transfer between one server and another. At any rate, with my new file now sitting here comfortably in its own uh, URL and not behind uh, an FTP anymore, I can now run my script from my customer's site that doesn't allow FTP but does allow URL based items. And then at the end of my script, I can just delete this file after it's ex executed the script. And then I just run two cron jobs one cron job to keep renewing this file, and another cron job to run about two minutes later that will read this file and then delete the file. And that's all there is to that. I, if this helps you, please uh, share, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much.